Let's play some Mage Knight. Welcome back. Round four, night number two, Mr. Norwald, Solo Conquest, Replayed Analysis. Let's get right to it. Starting the fourth round, we are sitting here amongst, on top of this green mine. We have consumed all of the uh, quartiles that are not cities, and we're down to two, two tiles left that we know are quartiles. So this night is going to all be about finding the cities and hopefully taking one of them down. Best candidates for where we could place these cities are going to be right here. Um, additionally, we could potentially come up this way with this mage tower and this keep and look to place the core tile something along these lines. But basically, we want to keep these two cities as close together as we possibly can. Let's take a look at the offers that might sway our decision. In mage towers and monasteries, we have the fire mages, and the catapults we have in keeps and cities. Not too interested in the foresters, we definitely want to pick up a gold unit this turn, if at all possible. Looking back at the map, uh, we could possibly shoot for these fire mages here in this mage tower, take out this keep, leverage a really nice hand size from the two other keeps that we own, and then I would be looking at these core tiles here and here. A lot of movement to get through these swamps, wastelands, what are those? Uh, swamps. To get through these swamps, to get through these forests, even though it is night, makes that slightly less attractive. Another idea would be come down here through the desert, take out this keep, get an additional hand size advantage, and then pursue the cities in these two tiles which is ultimately what I elected to do. I did consider this altar. Uh, however, I, I believe I'm going to need all of the mana that I can handle for these cities, so I elected not to pursue it. Let's take a look at what's in our hand. Uh, improvisation, Regeneration, Rage, Stamina, Crystallize, and Crushing Bolt have our new Regeneration card as well as Crushing Bolt. I'd like to see both of those too, especially if we're going to take on a keep that's fortified. Uh, looking at what remains in our deck, we've got our Blood Ritual key for us to get some more mana. Both of our influence cards are still in there. Burning Shield and, of course, Banner of Com Courage, which we hope is going to come out soon so that we can place them ideally on a new gold unit that we recruit. Let's take a look at our tactics. From the Dusk, Midnight Meditation, Preparation, Sparing Power. I decided just to ensure that I would go first with From the Dusk, uh, which is what I selected. And Mr. Bravalor took Preparation. So, Sparing Power... Still in the deck in case I need to go to that last and final night and uh, have a really big turn. Hopefully, we won't need to get that far. Also, at the beginning of the round, I changed my mind and I decided to keep the magic familiars and anteed them up with a, uh, with a white crystal. If you remember from the previous round, our idea was potentially to let the magic familiars go, use our bonds of loyalty in order to uh, get the influence benefit and have put, uh, possibly put a gold unit there. But I decided to keep the magic familiars. Um, I'm still a little ways away from another command token, but I think I felt that looking at the there we go, looking at the board state, that the additional movement might might be beneficial. Judging by how the round turned out, I think that was the right call. So let's get cracking. We start off with using our magic familiars for five move. We head across the desert and we assault this keep, which is guarded by the heroes. Uh, slightly unfortunate that they are a reputation of minus one. Again, not terribly helpful when we're trying to go out there and get new units, but not the end of the world. Before we take them out, we flip our whispers in the treetops. We get ourselves a white crystal and a green token. We play Crushing Bolt with that green token for Siege of Three. And the rarely used Scout's Siege One takes out our heroes. Before we end our turn, we crystallize this red die for a red crystal. And we reroll that die red. Let's put our flag, capturing that in the name, Mr. Norwald. And move on to our next turn. Ravelar draws a healthy seven cards with 12 remaining. And look at all these cards. We now own three keeps, combined with our natural hand size of six, gives us nine cards to play with. Now, because I'm on this keep, I'm going to try to get these catapults, and I get them by playing Mana Draw to use two dice from the source. I First, I play Noble Manners with a white die. I play Improv with the red die, Pitching Stamina. I'm now up to four, nine influence. We use our Peasants for 11 influence, which is enough with our minus one to get the catapults. Now, before we can get the catapults, we say goodbye to the peasants, we thank them for their service, and we go ahead and take these luscious, beautiful catapults. These two die, I go back to the source, we roll one white and the other gold, so our source is becoming not useless. Ah, no, sorry, slightly less useless. We actually rolled this to a blue. And we go ahead and end our turn. Reveler, nine cards remaining. Now we decide to start exploring and see which city we're going to get here. And we do that by playing March for two move. And our first city is the Red City. And some Ice Dragons right in my face. I decide to take out the Ice Dragons by provoking them. 
is my new catapult with a red crystal. Plus swiftness, plus this white die, plus my Otum crossbowman. I'm now up to 5 ranged, 7 ranged, 10 ranged. All right, let's, let's calculate this one more time. Siege Fire Attack 5, which becomes Ranged Fire 5, brings him down to a 2 armor needing physical resistance, so we need 4 natural ranged to take him out. We get that from the Utum Crossbowmans for 2, and the White Die on Swiftness for 5, taking out the Ice Dragons in the ranged phase. At the end of our turn, we pitch Threaten. Uh, definitely don't need it, and going to try to get ourselves as many cards as possible to take out this Red City. End of our turn. The White this time does, re in fact, reroll gold. Let's end the turn and get our level up, which is another command token, giving us an armor of four. Mr. B, two cards left in his deck. I want to move on to this desert, see who's in this red city. I do so by playing Stamina and March for four move. Revealing Guardians of the Red City. And of course, these are incorrect. Just a moment. All right, we're back. These are the correct enemies. We've got Ultimages, the Monks, and the Shadow, all of which are going to be brutal. So before we figure out how to take on this city, uh, we've got a couple of turns left. We decide to put our banner on the catapults. Let's move these guys over so there's a little room. We're definitely going to need them for the siege. Three cards left in our deck. Our hand size should be nine. One, two, three. Yep, so we'll draw all three. And Brevilar draws the remaining of his deck. Yes, it is true. This man has no deck. All right, city time. Let's flip the banner. Let's get these catapults ready. Inspiration. Last hurrah for the magic familiars, I have a feeling. I'm use Blood Ritual, take a wound. Red crystal. Get ourselves two red tokens, as well as a black token. And we're also going to pay the blue die, get ourselves a blue crystal. Now, we play Regeneration, heal that wound up quick, and then we also ready our Utim Crossbowman. Let's head into the city with a Swiftness. First thing to take care of is the Monks. We play Catapult with one of our red tokens for Sieged Fire Attack 5, which is just enough to take out the monks, even though he is fortified, or she's fortified, whichever way. Next up is the Ultimate Mages. We play Burning Shield, red token, black token, fire block of 4. We need a block of 8, and if we do, the Ultimate Mages will be insta-killed. And we just so happen to have a block of 4 from our familiars. Definitely the MVPs of the game. That's a block of 4, which is going to auto-kill the mages. Next up is the Shadow. We play Concentration. Quick jump back in the, the Rewind machine prior to entering into the city. Uh, we also played Rejuvenate and got ourselves a green token, which we will use on Concentration. Plus Determination for block 7. Block 9. That successfully blocks the Shadow. He now has 4 armor. Utim Crossbowman. Plus a Rage. Give us 5. The Shadow is defeated. Definitely a pretty clean city kill. Didn't uh, take any wounds and used up all of our cards. End of the turn. This die rerolls red. Let's end our turn. First up. Ooh. Let's claim the city. Proud name of Mr. Norwald. Technically, I am in the city currently. And again, we didn't really look at this, but the special ability of the city is uh, pay 12 influence and get an artifact. That might be useful when we come into the next round. And we have leveled up. Let's go on over here and check that out. We flipped uh, leadership, leaves in the wind, thunderstorm, guile, or lightning. We take one of these three. We're going to need to take ambush. Now, I'm not 100% sure what drove this decision. Uh, it, it seems like leaves in the wind would be you know, pretty easy choice. Uh, maybe even this leadership would be interesting. Uh, instead, I decided to take Forked Lightning, and I think I did one because I, I felt I was probably going to take Ambush, um, and two, I've never actually used Forked Lightning. So that is, in fact, what I chose. Let's check out the Advanced Offer, Advanced Action Offer, and the Spell Offer. Let's see if there's any that we want to punt. We do, in fact, want to punt Meditation using the Control of the Offers variant. Um, just a card I'm not going to get. Might as well like to see another spell, even though not terribly likely I'm going to get spells either. That brings us to the end of round four. Let's see how we did. Sitting at a rep of uh, minus one, we've got pretty good fame. We've had been on a, a really nice track this uh, this game. 
begin the night here on this green mine, headed through our desert, took over this keep, our third keep, Mickey can us a monstrous hand size of nine. Took out a dragon here, I believe it was the... Which one are you? The ice dragon. Revealed ourselves a red city, swiftnessed our way into the red city, and in one fell swoop, took down the denizens of the red city without any wounds, pretty much on the back of all of our units. All in all, I would say a pretty successful evening. We know that the last city is here. Hopefully it's not the white city, but if it is, we'll deal with it. And we also need to figure out what's the best way to actually reveal this tile. We've got this ancient ruins here. We're going to be able to see it when the sun comes up. We also have this lava dragon that's in the way. Uh, if we move here, we're going to have to deal with it. If we move here, we're going to have to deal with it. Maybe we'll just provoke it and get it over with. But we will see you then.